in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most loving Father, model of parenthood, teach us to become good parents. Teach us what we should teach our children and what we should withhold from them. Help us to listen to them with patience and to answer their questions with kindness. Show us when we should reprove them and when we should praise them. Give us the imagination to enter into their world in order to understand and guide them. Teach us to always love our children even if we sometimes do not understand them. Grant us all the virtues we need to lead them by word and example in the path of righteousness. And most of all, give us the love we need to nurse their light. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Jesus, light of the world, let our light shine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, a pleasant morning to everyone and welcome to Choose Excellence, the online open house for prospective parents of kinder students and transferees. I am Esther de la Vega, a kinder teacher, and I will be the moderator for today. May I remind those who have not renamed their labels to already change their name on screen to begin with the grade level your son is applying to. Otherwise, we will put you in the kinder group. Thank you. To formally begin the orientation, let me present to you our school president, Father Aristotle B. of the Society of Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear parents, and a special welcome to all of you at this uh, online open house. Like many things, or like most things these days, we are doing this uh, online no? to adjust to the times. A special shout out to the alumni who are present. Special shout out also to the young ones. I see some of the young boys who are also uh, attending the orientation and also a special greeting to the preschools who are attending uh, this morning. So we will be providing you with uh, a lot of, I think, useful and uh, enriching information this morning to guide you through the application process and also to provide you with more information uh, in case you are still trying to make a decision about applying next school year. Most of you here are prospective kinder parents, you know, hoping to start kinder for your sons next year. But I see that we also have several uh, attendees who are thinking of transferring to Savior School. So I hope we're able to respond to some of your concerns this morning. Many of you have already had a look at our online materials. You know, when we announced our admissions procedures and requirements uh, at the end of August. I've received also some concerns about how to comply with some of the requirements like the hearing and vision test, the vaccinations. I just want to assure you that we are not uh, pressuring you to get all those tests done right away. You can proceed with the application process. And if all goes well, there is such a thing as conditional admission so that we can wait until May of next year when it's enrollment time before submitting uh, those uh, medical tests. So we don't want to take, we don't want you to take unnecessary risks by uh, going out and having those uh, exams when it is not yet safe to do so. So please relax about that. Uh, if all goes well, we, we can wait until May of next year. So I thought I'd just put that out there to, to uh, address some of your uh, anxieties. So we prepared our, our teams in the school, our admin and early education teams, all the way even to high school, have prepared uh, a lot of uh, visuals and information 
uh, for you this morning. There, also, there will also be some breakout groups for uh, more intimate discussion. So I hope it's a meaningful uh, morning for everyone. Again, good morning. Welcome to this online orientation at Xavier School. And I just ask for your patience if you know our uh, procedures are not uh, perfect since uh, we are all doing this for the first time. In fact, even next year, if all goes well, we will we expect to be back in school. But who knows? Maybe we still have to do some online learning uh, next year. So we really have to be very patient and very flexible in our approach to education, even now as we think of what will happen uh, next year. So with that, I'd like to turn you over back to our host. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father D. At this point, the assistant principals of the grade school, Mr. J. Perez and Mrs. Ria Orqueza, will give us an overview of Savior School. Mr. Perez. Good morning, dear parents. It is great to have you today for the open house. Let me begin by sharing that Savior School has been in existence since 1956. It is a Jesuit Catholic college preparatory school that offers Christian life education as a subject and practices Catholic traditions. Can we go to the next slide, please? Next slide, please. It also offers classes in Mandarin and Filipino requiring all students to be proficient in three languages. The San Juan campus is exclusive to male students, but the Novali campus is a co-educational and accepts both boys and girls. Savior School has been given a level three accreditation by the Philippines Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities or commonly known as PAASCU, which means that it enjoys a certain degree of deregularization, which allows the school to offer special programs and implement policies that may differ from what the debt ed requires. Xavier School is an IB World School, offering the International Baccalaureate Program in Senior High School. It is also an Apple Distinguished School, meaning that it has been recognized as a center of leadership and educational excellence that demonstrates Apple's vision for learning with technology. It has also been awarded as national champion for the grade school category of the Gawad Kalasag, a competition spearheaded by the National Office of Civil Defense for its programs and initiatives in disaster risk reduction and management. Savior School aims to form men and women fully alive, endowed with a passion for justice and the skills for development. And this is operationalized in the different offerings of the school. A robust curriculum in music, arts, and PE contribute to the development of well-rounded students. There is also an extensive selection of co-curricular and extracurricular clubs that cater to student interests and promote student abilities. Leadership training sessions are regularly offered. Moreover, students are also given opportunities to develop leadership skills as they take on special responsibilities or roles inside and outside the classroom. The Xavierians experience of various activities equip them with good communication skills and give them a special confidence that allows them to carry themselves and interact with others confidently. Let me now turn you over to Mrs. Ria Orqueza, our Assistant Principal for Formation. Thank you, Mr. Perez. May I remind everyone to use the chat box for your questions. You may type them at any time during the presentation. Forming the hearts of the, student, of the students to care for the less fortunate, to defend what is right, 
is equally important for Savior School. This is largely done through the comprehensive outreach activities organized by the Campus Ministry and Service Office. Students from kinder to grade 12 are given the opportunity to interact with people from different walks of life and are invited to see the face of Jesus in each of them. Ignatian spirituality is developed through the CLE classes, the sacraments, and through retreats and recollections. <clears throat> the formation of the Saviorian has inspired alumni to serve society in different ways and in different roles. As a college preparatory school, careful attention is always given to the academic curriculum to ensure its rigor and relevance. The lessons are not confined to what are found in the books. Students are made to face real world concerns and are challenged to grapple with issues in the society. Students are not seen as passive receivers of instruction, but are considered as having an active role in their learning. Woven throughout the schooling of the students are support structures that give attention to the emotional well-being of each student. The entire Savior School experience aims to make the students ready for university and for life. Savior graduates make it to the top local university and also enter schools abroad. For over 10 years now, Savior School has always relied on the use of technology to improve the effectiveness of instruction and to increase student engagement. The one-to-one -one program required that students in grades 5 to 12 bring their own gadget to school so that technology integration was seamless in all subjects. And in all the levels where the iPad was not required, the school provided an iPad when it was needed. The long-standing experience with the use of technology for educational purposes has allowed Savior School to more easily transition to a purely online school environment as demanded by the pandemic. Excel, or Savior School e-learning, was designed to offer education to its students online from a distance without sacrificing the academic and holistic formation that Savior School is known for. At the same time, it was fashioned to be highly responsive and supportive of the different contexts of its students. Excel features an audited curriculum that distilled its academics to the most relevant, a simplified grading system that will be fair to students despite different situations, structures that consider age capabilities and limitations, among others. The regular academic and non-academic programs of Savior School, which have worked successfully in forming students of competence and character, were not just automatically migrated into an online setting. They have been carefully redesigned to retain their impact in this new educational setting. The quality of a Savior School education is guaranteed regardless of the modality it is delivered. Thank you for your attention.
The school campus is currently closed, but we hope you enjoyed our tour of the campus anyway. We look forward to seeing your sons enjoy our facilities in the future. At this point, please get ready to listen to our registrar, Mrs. Josefina Galvez, as she discusses the online application requirements and process for school year 2021 to 2022. Thank you, Teacher Esther. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. So I will now discuss with you some of the more salient um, information regarding the application process for school year 2021-2022. To begin with, let me show you the schedule of the application period. Next slide, please. So we started the application for kindergarten last August 27, and this will run all the way until September 30. For the transferees, for the grade school, this is for grades 1 to 5. And for the high school, these are for applicants for grades 7 to 9. It will begin on November 4 for the whole month of November. Uh, just a note regarding the kindergarten, uh, applicants, the boys, should be turning 5 years old by August 31, 2021. So next slide, please. In general, this will be the application process. So one is uh, the application for this school year will be online. So you will need to access the website to be able to get into the online application site. Then after filling out all the information in the application form, online application form, you'll be requested to upload all the documentary requirements. Then the registrar's office will verify your submitted documents, after which we'll be sending you an email to give you information regarding the payment of the application fee. You will then receive another email to inform you about the screening or test schedule of your child. Then you will, your child will undergo the screening test. Then soon after, you will receive another email to inform you about the results of the admissions results or the admission process. Next slide, please. These are the documentary requirements, the birth certificate, the report card or progress report of your child, the baptismal certificate if your child is Catholic, and the other Savior School documents, which include the application form, recommendation form, and the student health record. Regarding the report card and the progress report, we are aware that some of the children may have stopped schooling for this school year. That is for school year 2020-21 due to the pandemic. If this is the case, we will request you to um, submit the report card or progress report for school year 2019 to 2020 and if available, also the report card, the progress report for school year 2018 to 2020. Next slide, please. Some reminders regarding the online application process. First is, of course, to make sure that you do have a stable internet connection so that your application will run smoothly. We recommend that you use Google Chrome and kindly use a laptop or desktop unit. Phones, tablets, and iPads cannot be used in printing. It might not help you if you use these um, gadgets, plus some of the features of the online application might not be available if you use your cell phones, your tablets, or your iPads. Be sure to have your pen and paper ready at all times because you will need to take note, especially about your access and passwords. Be sure to save all documents especially when you'll be requested to print and submit these documents. And we will advise you when you will submit all the physical copies of the documents. Next slide, please. Let's go through the online application. So the first thing you should do is to please access the website of the school at www.access.edu.ph. You will see this on your screen and kindly click on the admissions tab found in the upper right side of corner of the screen. Once you click this, 
you will see kindergarten, grade school, and high school. So click on the appropriate unit. Next slide, please. Then this will appear on your screen. You will just need to scroll down your screen so that you will view the tabs for the admissions policy and procedure. Next slide, please. We encourage you to kindly read all the items in all the tabs because some of the information that you might need will be in all the tabs, especially when it comes to the online application procedure and the policies regarding admissions. Next slide, please. Once you're done reading all the tabs, especially the policy and the instructions, kindly click apply here. Once you click this, this will bring you, next slide please, to this screen. May we again request you to please click on accessing the Savior School online application before you click on the Access Parents Portal. Once you click accessing the Savior School online application, next slide please, you will see the instructions how to go about the online application. The ITS office has uh, done a very good instructional to aid you through the online application process. Next slide, please. After reading the instructions, and you might wish to actually print it so that, or, or download it so that as you go through the application procedure, this will guide you accordingly. You will now click on Access Parents Portal. Once you click this, next slide, please. It will bring you automatically to the Savior School Parents Portal, wherein the online application will really begin. Next slide, please. Kindly click on New User. Click here to register. Uh, for our parents who have already students or children in Savior School, you will also need to click on New User. Click here to register because we need you to start your account for the admissions process. Next slide, please. Now, you will also be requested to upload some of the documentary requirements. So when you go back to the tabs, kindly click Admissions Upload Facility. Then click on Admissions Upload Facility. Next slide, please. You will see the instructions on how to upload all the required documents. Next slide, please. So we hope that uh, going through all the things that we posted online, this will help you through the online application process. However, if you have some difficulties, concerns, or other issues, you may contact the registrar's office at the email indicated on your screen or call us at 8723-0481, local 1702. For um, concerns regarding testing, you may get in touch with the Testing and Research Center. You may email them or call them at 8723-0481, local 1801 or 1802 or 1804. So we look forward to the application of your child to save your school, and we hope you continue to have a safe and pleasant day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Galvez. Let us now listen to Mrs. Marie Rachel Sangalang, our Testing and Research Center Coordinator, to talk about the online admissions test for kinder and how you can prepare your son for it. Good morning, everyone. All applicants, to save your kindergarten are required to undergo the admission screening process. The purpose of the admissions process is to determine whether or not the early education program of Save Your School will be suitable and beneficial to the applicant. Next slide, please. One component of the admission screening process is the admissions test. The admissions test for school year 21-22 will be conducted online with one parent or adult to supervise the applicant during the test. 
The online test will take 30 to 45 minutes with a short break and will be conducted via Zoom. The link to the Zoom session will be emailed to you days before the scheduled test together with the test permit and other important guidelines regarding the test. Like in the previous admissions test, the online admissions test will gauge the readiness of the applicant for big school in terms of attention span, communication skills, basic literacy and numeracy skills, and other behavioral traits. To help your child get ready to take the admissions test, please take note of the following important reminders. Find an area or a room conducive for the test with proper lighting and ventilation. Make sure that the area is free from any distractions of sights and sounds, such as TVs, pets, and loud conversations. Choose a location where your child can sit comfortably with his computer or laptop in front of him and see the screen clearly. Note that only a laptop or desktop will be allowed. The use of an iPad, tablet, or smartphone is not allowed. Your device should have a webcam or camera, and your child should be visible through the camera for the entire duration of the test. You are also not allowed to record the session from the device being used or remotely from another device. We will be the only one who will record the session. One part of the test will require your son to use a pencil and paper. Kindly make sure he has with him two sheets of bond paper and two pencils with eraser. Only one parent or guardian is allowed to be present to help monitor the child during the testing process. After the general instructions and reminders have been given, the parent will be asked to sit behind the laptop or desktop and accompany the child from that location only. From this point onward, please let your son use or wear a headset or earphones until the end of the test. If your son is not used to wearing earphones or headset, it will be good to practice this prior to the actual test. In as much as the entire test will be conducted online, kindly make sure that your internet connection is stable and that the child's device is fully charged or plugged into an outlet. The online test will be rescheduled should there be a network interruption during the test. Taking an online test that is administered by unfamiliar people may be daunting to some children. Given this, it will be good to prepare your son psychologically for the experience. Assure him that you will be with him, albeit quietly from a distance. Inform him that there will be two teachers from Savior School who will talk to him, ask him questions, and let him do activities. Encourage him to answer the questions loudly and clearly so that he can be understood well. Please make sure that your child is well rested the night before the test, has eaten and has used the restroom before your scheduled testing time so that he can fully focus on the test. Your child must be dressed properly during the test. It is recommended that the child wears any smart but comfortable attire. Please also be ready with your physical setup and Wi-Fi connection 15 minutes before the scheduled time to address last minute concerns. There will be a, two short, a short two minute break in between some tasks during the test and this will be communicated to the child. Your child may use this to take a bathroom break, have a drink and stretch. Kindly make sure he is seated and ready to continue with the exam after two minutes. After your son finishes the exam, 
please make sure to congratulate him. Your child will be evaluated based on his own merits. Though the online test is parent supervised, we request you to let your child answer the questions independently. Please do not say or do anything that will unduly help your child get the correct answer as this may invalidate the results. In relation to this, we also request you not to share the experience with other parents whose children will also take the test. This is to preserve the integrity of the admissions test and provide results that will be accurate and most fair to all applicants. In case you may be wondering if the admissions test can be rescheduled, please know that rescheduling is only possible in the following instances. The applicant is sick and not well enough to take the test. There is death in the family. The child encounters a network interruption during the test. In such an incident, please call the hotline immediately to inform the examiner of your situation. Save your school calls of classes or offices due to inclement weather or other unforeseen events that could affect the online testing. We will call you when this happens. When any of the following happens, you will be given a new schedule via email. We wish your son all the best as he takes the admissions test to save your school. The admissions test process for transferees will be emailed to the applicants upon their submission of application requirements. I will now call on Ms. Maria Leonor Esperanza Yap, Kinder Team Leader, to talk more about EED. Teacher Ning Lu. Good morning, everyone. I'm Teacher Ning Lu, Kinder Team Leader. Welcome to the Early Education Breakout Group. We will now be showing you a short video of what you can expect in Kinder and Grade 1 during a regular school year and some clips of our current online setting.
sure to answer. Oh, so let me enable it. And please be reminded that only the student who will be called will annotate. Is that clear? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, thank and okay, now can you please encircle where the pen is, Detective Nicholas? That's correct. Thank you, Detective. We move on to the second word. Let's call Detective Gav. Can no, what's up? Okay, this one, Gav, can you please read a word? Four. Car. Where is the car here, Detective Gav? Okay, Can you please right there. I found this. Okay, and circle it, Gav, please. Great job. That's I correct. want you to write it down on your whiteboard. I need to see if everyone is working. Singular nouns, name, blank person, place, thing, or animal. Singular nouns, name blank person, place, thing, or animal. Make sure that I am on speaker view so that you don't see your classmates' answers. Speaker view, please. Speaker view. How many do singular nouns mean? Single. I'll stop sharing to check if everyone is writing. Whiteboards down first. Whiteboards down. Singular names or nouns name. Whiteboards up, please. How many? How many do they name? Can I see? I see Alonso. Yes, Nathan, Joaquin, Dean, Sebastian, Liam, Steve, Juan, Cho, Gian, Rupert, Jamie, Elijah. They name one noun only. Yes, can you put a star if you wrote one there? How many boys are running? Three. Three. So, oh, sorry. So let's write three boys. Okay, on the parts. Okay. And how many, Sean, how many boys are jumping? Five. Five. Is it five? Can you count the four? Four. Okay, four. Thank you, Nicholas. And so now we have three and four. Okay. Make seven. Make, they make seven. Seven. You are right. Three and four make seven. Let's check if you are correct. Three boys are running. Four boys are jumping. And three and four make seven. You are Correction. So what we write in our number bond sentence is three and four. Four make seven. Seven. And our numbers for our number story, we can say that there are seven boys, right? Three are running and four are jumping. Three and four make seven. See, that's how we can make our number stories. Now, I like that story. Thank you, Kirk. Kirk used bugs and insects. How about the others? How about the others? Hmm, can I hear a story from Nicholas? Nicholas, can you make your own story? There are five hot wheels. Okay, five Hot Wheels and three what? And three insects. Okay, three. Five and three make eight. Okay, thank you, Nicola. Sixty-three. Get sixty-three, What strategy did you use? Eastern blocks. Eastern blocks, all right. That's a unique strategy. Darren, what's your answer? 63 tools. Okay, what strategy did you use, Darren? The normal. The normal? Is it the vertical strategy? Yes. 
Okay, so Yonte and Darren agrees. It's 63. Who agrees with them? Give me a virtual thumbs up. Mia and Astin. Maxi also awarding class dojo points to those who are um, doing um, the teacher ish instructions. Samuel, Sander, Carl, Raiden, Savvy, Jacob says sit 63. Let's find out. Okay, let's use the base 10 blocks first. 36 gives us 3 tenths and 6 ones plus. 27, which has two tens and seven ones. Okay, what do we do first? Okay, and circle or make a one ten using the small cubes. Okay, so we find one ten there. We put them together, make it a long rod, and put it there on the um, tens place value um, line. The ones digit. 3 remains below. Where do we put the 1? Can you point using your fingers? Where do we put the 1? On top, right? On top of number 3. Now we add 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6. The correct answer is 63. Who got it right? Raise your hand. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Very good. Earlier in the session, you were informed of how the admissions test will go during the application process. Now, allow us to share what we will be looking for during the admissions test. For kinder, we will check for the following. Recognition of basic shapes and sizes. Familiarity with letters and letter sounds. Knowledge of numbers. Ability to follow simple instructions, communication skills, and behaviors that suggest the ability to adapt to a new environment. For grade one applicants, we will be checking the applicant's mastery of letter sounds, ability to count from 1 to 20, and to read basic sight words. Ability to follow simple and two-step instructions, clarity in expressing himself, and similar to kinder, behaviors that suggest the ability to adapt to a new environment. For this school year, the curriculum has been limited to numeracy and numeracy literacy, Chinese, and Filipino only. However, this is augmented by prayer sessions, fitness and wellness sessions that feature physical exercise and music and art activities. This current setup will be reviewed and will be adjusted accordingly for the next school year, regardless of whether classes will continue physically or online. If classes will be online, please already know that you, as parents, will be required to provide more, much assistance as the learning manager of your son. Given this, as mentioned earlier, we shall be considerate as regards your choice of class schedule, either AM or PM class for your son.